So, I don't want to open up the mailbox. I mean, I could use some spray on it. But you know what? Just to be safe, I got this other side of the mailbox to open. So that's what I'm going to do. Hit it with some spray. Just, you know, just to be careful. Oh, it's in there. <sighs> A bunch of nothing. Jeez. Oh well. Bring it in anyway. Hopefully it's not full of coronaviruses. Because you know it is. Hmm. 0% introductory. 0% dollar annual fee. That sounds pretty good. I'd say that's worth getting a coronavirus for. Oh, man. But now i got to catch the doorknob, too. All right. Oh, toilet paper. Bet you wish you had some of that. So here's the solution that I got. It's a bucket. It's not just any bucket. It's a bucket for de, de covid 19 ing the mail. Did I get a package? You did not get a package. Instead, we got a bunch of junk mail. That I'm going to use as an example. You should just put it directly in... I should just put it directly in the garbage because that's what it is. But I'm going to use it as an example. This is a magic wand because it is... <laughs> A submersible germicidal UVC lamp, 20 watts. I'm gonna drop this in here. Put the lid on and cover it up. Up here, plug it in, and then it's time to blind myself. We're going to ignore that for a second. Hey, Hank, why don't you come outside for a second while we wait for the mail to get sanitized? Come on, let's go out. Come here, go outside. What's out there? Bunch of viruses, I'm sure. So let's talk about what UV and UVC actually are. Uh, UV is ultraviolet. UVC is the further away from the visible spectrum. UVC is between 200 and 280 nanometers. So the further you go from the visible spectrum, the more energy there is in each photon. and UVC is mostly absorbed by the sky, by the atmosphere. And because of that, DNA hasn't really got a defense against it. And there, uh, there are parts of DNA that are susceptible to being unraveled by the UVC energy. It absorbs it and it splits the bond. Since we're not getting UVC from sunlight, where can we get it? The um, easiest source is low pressure and medium pressure mercury vapor lamps. That's similar to a fluorescent bulb, except that it has a special glass housing that's made out of quartz so that the UVC can pass through and doesn't get absorbed. Regular glass will block UVC. The light that's output from the mercury vapor lamps changes based on how much pressure the lamp has. Um, lower pressure, so almost vacuum, will create more UVC at 254 nanometers. And as the pressure increases, you're going to get more light in the visible spectrum. It has to do with the plasma that's generated inside the bulb. So to double check which bulb I had, I used a diffraction grating. 
this separates the wavelengths so you can see what a white light source or a color light source is actually made of. In this case, there's a blue, a green, and a yellow um, component to the overall cyan look of the light. Now that I know I have a medium pressure lamp, I can calculate the usable UVC. That's going to be 15% of the electrical power that is sent into the bulb. So since the bulb is 20 watts, 15% of 20 watts is 3 watts. For simplicity, let's assume that the 3 watts is evenly distributed across the entire internal surface of the bucket. Um, the bucket is 35 centimeters by 25 centimeters by 20 centimeters. The total area is 4,150 square centimeters. So 3 watts divided by 4,150 square centimeters is less than 1 milliwatt per square centimeter. It is 0 0.5. 7 to 3 milliwatts per square centimeter. So we're going to need to have a measurement in joules and to convert watts to joules you need watt seconds. So one watt for one second is equal to one joule. For this bucket 0 0.723 milliwatt seconds per square centimeter is equal to 0 0.723 millijoules per square centimeter. The coronavirus fluence or dose for inactivity is estimated to be 67 joules per square meter. 10 joule per square meter equal 1 millijoule Per square centimeter. So 67 joules per square meter is equivalent to 6.7 millijoules per square centimeter. This means that the exposure time is only 9.3 seconds for the 20 watt UVC light. Let's talk about safety for a second. Make sure things aren't touching the light inside the box and make sure you're wearing polycarbonate safety glasses. The biggest problem that I have with this setup is the plastic that the bucket is made out of actually allows the UVC to be transmitted out. That's the reason why I cover it up with a towel. Polycarbonate which is the standard for safety glasses, blocks UVC really well. Um, up the YouTube channel Applied Science did a test, um, and I've got the, the display of what plastics were able to block um, the UVC area. And that was actually a pretty good video. Oh, there's my hand. Ah, so bright. Turn it off.